Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a special Tech Genius episode of A Rather British Review. I am your host Michael Burhan as always and these are my lovely hands. I am here today to talk to you about how to mod your Super Nintendo. Wait, that's wrong Super Nintendo, one sec, sorry. This is my Super Nintendo from 1993 that I got originally at Christmas. It's my nice little present for my parents. So, uh, let's, let's move that out of the way. What I mean to say is, we are going to be modding the Super Nintendo Mini. This is a very easy console to manipulate, because basically everything has been released that you'll need to actually do it. It takes about a couple of minutes, five to ten minutes, depending on how good your machine is, and also how easy you can do this, because some people may be a bit slower than others. And I'm not talking about me, because I'm not that... Not that slow, it took me about five minutes. So, what you're going to need is your Super Nintendo Mini, or as you call it, the SNES Classic, and you're going to need your USB micro cable that comes with the console. It's pretty simple, you can't, that goes straight into the back of the console itself, and then the USB port goes straight into your laptop. We're going to basically talk about that in a little bit, as I explain to you what you need to do, what software you need to download, and also I need to give you guys a little bit of a disclaimer in terms of this console. If you modify the firmware inside the console itself, you are voiding the warranty. And secondly, the games that you need to back up onto this console, you have to own a primary copy of. Because backups are fine, you can play backups, but apparently it's legal if you're downloading uh, WAD files, or as they, I think they're called for this, .smc files of games you don't own so that you can play them. Naughty, naughty. Just so we get that out of the way. So if you have backups, you want to play your classic Super Nintendo games, um, and you don't want to take your cartridges out and play it on the bigger console, which I showed you previously, then you can basically use this technique so you can uh, update the system, place them onto the system firmware, and play as you go. So there you go, and it works on most types of Super Nintendo games from Japanese to uh, American to European versions, the PAL versions, because you've got like the NTSC and PAL versions of, of those games, uh, and it all works on here. Sometimes you might want to like a better game, for instance I prefer Super Street Fighter 2 a lot better to Street Fighter 2 Turbo, so you can chop and change and swap. Uh, I also own the original Super Mario Brother, Super Mario World, so this comes standard with that. But if you want, you can have Super Mario All Stars on here, which I also own, because I bought a lot of games back when I was a kid. So let's get started, shall we? You need to download a folder called hackg2.31.zip. I already have the folder downloaded on my hard drive, so I'm going to go to the next stage. If you go and click on the hackg.exe. That will take you straight to the file. Make sure that your Super Nintendo Mini is connected via USB to micro USB to the system. And then it will take you through the following steps. When it takes you through the first steps, it will ask you to hold down the reset button and press up to turn the machine on. You won't see any power going through the machine, but it will read it and go through all your old original games. This will take about a couple of minutes for it to read as it's the first time. Now as you can see there are my original games at the top and I also have some new games that are installed onto the system. And once that's done I will go through a game that I already have that's already on the system so let's have a look. You see there's a lad in there, it's got the uh, Google box art on there and the browse game. So once I go to add more games I then select the game that I need. So it's located in a file that is called SNES. Uh, so let's go through a game. Which game should I go through and have a look here? I am going to choose a game that I've gotten before, which will be Castlevania Dracula X. So most of these are in different file formats, so you have to just have to look at which format is compatible. Custom ROMs don't work. You will have to go through a different process if you want to add hacked ROMs to the system. So it's processing game. Please wait. So it has the few details of the game, so it's got the game title and also has the name of the company, the publisher name is Konami. It's got one and two players on there. It's a default one player. 
um, do not try and change it to two players because you might brick the system. You've got to keep it at the format that it's supposed to be. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at a uh, cover. So we're going to basically either add our own custom covers to the system or we can basically do it via Google. So I'm going to use the Google tool to do that and click on there. So I've got my virus scanner just coming up with little topics and bits and pieces. So click on Google, which will basically take me to where I need to go. There we go. Okay, got the virus scanner there. So it comes up with the custom cover, I'm clicking on the custom cover, add that on. And so I've done that. And now all I will need to do is synchronize this with my SNES mini. So let's do that now. So synchronize game. Just click on there. Right, it's going to ask you to go through a following steps in order to basically get the SNES Mini to sync. The SNES Mini is already turned on. Uh, I don't need to install the driver because I've already done that. And it will take me through the process basically very rather quickly. Um, it's a lot quicker in terms of doing it after you've officially modded it the first time around. So as you can tell, this is doing it really, really quick. So let the green bar just go through, load it up. And that's pretty much it. There you go. You have a modded Super Nintendo Mini, AKA the SNES Classic. If there are any questions, leave them below. You've got the links at the bottom of the screen. I don't know where you can get WAD files, so if you know where to get those, those little backups of your games, do so at your own risk. And as always, this has been Michael Burhan from another A Rather British Review, letting you know that I've got gameplay. Have you? Merry Christmas, guys.